All right, for trading, I'm going to recommend three add-ons. One is called Tamriel Trade Center. One is called Master Merchant, or you can use um, Arcadus Trade Tools. And the third is Awesome Guild Store. And that's going to give you a new UI when you go to browse your guild store that allows you to save searches. And it allows you to search within a quality range and a deal range, etc. I'm going to reset my starting search. I'm going to go to my guild. Always shop your own guilds first. If you're worried about supporting your own guild and helping support the trader, then by shopping at your own guilds first, you will help them out. So always do that. We're also going to sort by time. So we want all of these items to be the newest that have posted. Okay. And I want to set my deal range to at least white. At least white. But if we're looking for, for flipping items, we're probably going to set it to at least blue or better. All right. So now everything that I'm looking at should be a good deal. But we don't just take the board for this and buy everything on the list. Okay. Our two add-ons, TTC and MM, Tamriel Trade Center and Master Merchant, will give us details in our pop-up. They show us two different things. Tamriel Trade Center is going to show us listed items from across Tamriel. That doesn't mean they're selling at these prices. These are the prices they're listed at. So the lowest Dwemer frame on the market right now is 2.5 gold, and the highest is 14,000 gold. But the average list price is 1.2 to 1.5 thousand. Now, Mast Merchant shows us what has sold in the guilds that we are in. That's the most pertinent information, right? If you're in a small guild, you probably can't compare yourself to sales in a large guild. This is going to give you a realistic picture of what you can sell something for. And if you have your guild set up with different colors and chats under social um, settings, they will show up as different colored dots in the chart as well. So then you might get a better idea of which guild, if you have multiple trade guilds, you should sell it in. So I'm looking for things that are currently selling for quite a bit more than what I can buy it for. It's 2.5 gold. So let's say they listed two items and they listed it for a total of five gold. You can absolutely get fractional when you sell stacks. So like this cheese is selling for six gold a piece. It looks like people are fairly frequently selling it for 14 gold each, which is double my money. So you don't need a lot of money to buy something to turn around and sell it for more. And some of these things I'm going to skip just because the price isn't there. But I do tend to buy a lot of materials and just hold on to them. Now, this is an example of something you should watch out for. The Engine Guardian mask just started dropping again on Monday. Today's Thursday. So while this person is selling it for 1.5 million and our awesome guild store tells us that based on our MM prices, we're getting a bargain because our MM price is 4.2 million. Because it's dropping again, the price is going down. So TTC says that most listed prices are between 1.1 and 1.47 now. So 1.5 is a little bit over that. And since it just started dropping and drops for another four days, I'm probably not going to be able to sell it for like 3 million. Now, once we get past like this 29 day mark, that means it's been listed for over a day, which means all the good deals have probably been snatched up. So that's when we move to the next guild. And we move to another guild that we're in. And we're going to look for things that are a day old or less that we can sell for more than the price we pay for it. And we're going to use our MM and TTC data to give us a good idea of what that is. Now, if you specialize in something, or if you're on console and don't have some of these add-ons, the better idea is to specialize and memorize the prices so you can just at a glance tell what's a good price. There are thousands of items in ESO now. I don't have all the prices memorized, so I rely on add-ons to give me an idea. Do I price it exactly the way the add-ons tell me? No, but that's another discussion. But this will give you an idea what you can realistically sell something for. So here's another one. This is only five, five Violet Caprinas. They're selling for 617.6 gold a piece but I can sell them realistically for about 1400 gold right now, maybe a little bit higher. Although a lot of those higher prices are because we had the anniversary event. So people were paying extra to complete their writs, but I can still double my money. You're buying the stack, but it shows per unit. Correct. Correct. Exactly. And again, we've got Stinkhorn, which we can price up. Now I'm not going to sell in stacks of five 
I'm going to sell on stacks of, of 200. But a lot of times when I find cheap mats, I will just buy them all. Because I'm going to get my money back. And here's another one. We recently had the anniversary event. So motifs are selling for less than they were two, three weeks ago. And so this is now reasonably priced, not priced on the low end where we can then turn it around and price it on the high end. However, it is a fair price. It is in one of my guilds and I actually need this one. So I'm going to buy it for me. Now, I don't know much about the reactive set. So one of my other rules for flipping is to sell what you know. And this has one sale from three months ago at 200,000 gold. I don't have a TTC on it at all. I could probably sell this for more. I also need it for my sticker book, but I'm probably going to leave it alone because I just don't know enough about PVP sets. Okay, now I'm down to the 20 day, 29 day mark and I'm going to move on to my next guild. I'm going to be very picky about my motifs because the market is down because of the anniversary event. So anything I get, it's going to be very low price so I can hold it for a little while and be guaranteed to make my money back. But it needs to be worth the storage space, right? Joke popper parts for under TTC. MM is all screwy because we had the Gestures Festival recently. I think 15,000 for that is, is fair. And I'll stash it with, my, with the rest of mine so it's not going to take up any extra space. Once I'm done with my guilds, I will run out and check some other guilds. But that's basically it. We're looking for things that are selling on the low end or that are just outright bargains that we feel fairly confident that we can double the price or bump up the price by 50% and resell. Now remember, when you sell something, you have a 1% listing fee and you pay 7% in taxes. So a total of 8% is going out. So make sure you factor that in when you figure out your profit margin. And that's about it. We just continue to do this looking for deals. And then at the end of our session, we'll go list a bunch of stuff.